Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! That's not good! Not good at all! Oh no! And welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today we are going to be going through some non-bee barn hives. Well, we might go through the, the purple bee barn to look for a queen, but for the most part, we're going to go, try to go through the non-bee barn hives that I have, at least three of them. I'd like to get through the white, I'd like to get through the blue, and I need to get through the orange hive. The orange hive, that's it's Juno's daughter. She's on the back bench. If you remember, she was one of the weaker hives that I had here over the winter. Well, I don't see a lot of activity on the landing board, so I want to get in there and find out exactly what's going on. But before we do all of that, I want to take a moment to thank CJ at Schick Happens. Notice the hat, Schick Happens. Very nice hat, by the way. Wherever you got this made, let me know so that I can get some of my hats made there. This is, this is probably the most comfortable hat that I've ever worn. Anyways, CJ at Schick Happens uh, sent my wife and I a care package, and he included some deer jerky, some handmade fishing lures, and the deer jerky he made himself, some handmade fishing lures that I'm going to use in the lake, and... Uh, an adult beverage. I don't know how you got it through the mail, but but thank you. I really appreciate it. It's uh, it's tasty. Um, but thanks again for 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 taking the time to think about us and send us a package. We really really appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't seen Chic Happens or if you've never heard of the channel, do me a favor. Run over there, have a look. If you like it, give it a subscription. Like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. He has uh, he has a, a great sense of humor. Now he is a beekeeper. I think I've only seen him go through his beehives one time. So, I mean, he's not, he's not a beekeeping channel. He's just an Ohio, Ohio Country Life vlog channel. It's a, it's a fun channel. But, uh, but if you're going there to see bees, you're not going to see a lot of bees because he, he neglects his hive. Chick, you neglect your hives. Get, get, get to work on those hives. Anyways, go over and have a look at it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I think the, the subscribe button's down in the bottom left-hand mm -hmm. corner. I do do bees. So if you want to see bees, you can come do bees with me and all will be good. Anyways, let me get this hat off. Let me get my veil on my smoker lit and we will get started. Hey, let me tell you, these hives smell wonderful. Wonderful. I don't know whether you've noticed, maybe in the last video you may have noticed, but I've planted flowers out in front of my hives. They look wonderful. It adds to the smell, the aroma, I guess. What I'm smelling is nectar. Coming out of these hives, out of these vent holes, it smells wonderful. My only fear is that a deer is going to come by and, and have lunch and wipe out all my work. I hope that doesn't happen. I tried to get deer-resistant flowers. I didn't buy impatience. Deer love impatience. They think of them as pretty clovers, and they just they, they eat them up. They'll eat them in one sitting. Impatience, gone. All right, let me get my smoker lit. All right, let's go in and have a look at Juno's daughter. Now, I don't know whether you can see the bottom board. Yeah, I think you can in this camera right here. Okay, so if you look at the bottom board, you see, I mean, there's a bee. There's a little bit of activity coming and going, but there's just not a lot happening here. And I don't know, I don't know why that is. Um, so we are going to do a couple of things. And here comes another. So there are bees in this, in this hive. I just don't know what's going on because there doesn't seem to be a lot of bees in this hive. Now, we are going to check the bottom board and all that. We're going to find out what's happening here. Um, in worst case scenario, we blend these bees into the purple hive who may or may not have a queen. And then maybe things will be different. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go in. We're expecting good things. It's not as grim as it looks on the landing board. Hello. Oh, now we do have bees in here. We do have bees. I see. I see two frames. Not a lot of bees, but we have some bees in here. I. Let's see what we can see. All right. Okay, this frame is 100% empty. Nothing happening there. It's drawn out. I mean, it's a very pretty frame. All right, let's have a look at the next one over. I have a feeling that we have lost our queen in here. And this is going to be a drone hive. Laying workers, maybe. Okay, this super has no resources in it at all so far a few bees no queen now there is no queen excluder on here this is a double brood chamber and maybe we'll be fortunate and find some bees down in the bottom 
it looks like they're all up here in the top. Okay, oh, oh, okay, so we have some brood and some honey and some pollen. So they're doing something here. Have a look there. You can see that, that nectar glistening. So they're bringing in resources. And I do see some, some brood and I see eggs. There are eggs on this frame. Where is the queen? So she's laying in the top box. I don't see her there. She's not there. So I'm thinking that she's probably on this side of the next frame. Okay, okay, so we have a little bit of brood here as well. And I see eggs. There are a lot of eggs in this frame. There's no queen on that frame. Okay, there are tons of eggs on the back here as well. Where is our queen? Where is our queen? So we have eggs and we have, we have nectar. This all looks good. I mean, it's, I don't, there's not a lot of activity here. There's not a, not a lot of bees foraging. But this, this hive is alive. Okay, I do not see any eggs on this frame, but there is a lot of, a lot of nectar and a lot of, a lot of pollen. Okay, no queen here. So I'm hoping she went to the bottom. In this other box. Okay, let me give you a little bit of smoke. There you go. They are kind of calm, knock on wood, which tells me that they have a queen. We saw the eggs, so we know that there's a queen. And those eggs were one per cell, very nicely laid, so I'm, I'm going to assume that it is not a laying worker. Okay, we have nothing going on here at all. Excuse me. Okay, I'm starting to get concerned that I don't have a queen in this hive because I did not see her. Then where did those eggs come from? How can I not find a queen in a box with no bees? She's walking around down there. There are bees walking around down at the bottom. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, I don't I don't know what's happening here. I don't I don't see a queen. She's not wandering around in the bottom. Is she on this wall? Hello, your highness. Where you at? Where are you? Okay, she's not in here. All right, we're going back through the other one. Oh boy, this is hard on my back. Holy moly. Okay, there is milk brood on this frame. There's larva on this frame. There's capped brood on this frame. Do you see a queen? I do not. There she is. There's our queen. There she is. She's right there. Okay. Okay. Well, we're, we're putting this hive back together. Putting it back together. There, we, we know that she's in there. I mean, this is a, this is a tough, a tough job for her. Fortunately, the weather's broke. She has resources in there. She has pollen. She has, she has nectar. Her bees are working. Okay, I know that wasn't very exciting for you, but I had to find out this this hive is it's it's hanging by a thread. But it's 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 hanging now. The good news is is that if the purple hive does not have a queen, I can move these bees over there. You know what? 
we're going to skip the blue hive and the white hive today. We're going to run right over to the purple bee barn, and we're going to look around in there. We're going to see if uh, if I if I have a queen in there, great. If I don't, then I'm going to move this queen and her girls into that hive, and uh, give them a chance. Give them a chance. Make everything right with the world. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can get these off in one piece. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, and it took the, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I not put a queen excluder on there? Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh, no. Okay, I did not put a queen excluder on this hive. That is not good. Let me go grab one. This is turning into a, into a debacle. Oh, man. No, this is no good. I did not think for a second that I'd forgotten the queen excluder. So now, even if I did shake the queen down into this bottom box, she may not be there. Holy moly. All right. Let's have a look. I mean, there's a lot of bees down here, which is a good sign. I just don't want them filling this with honey and not eggs. Okay, nothing happening there. Nothing happening there. Okay. So this next frame is drawn. Okay, we are storing honey down in here. No, oh, there is a hive beetle. We know how it got in, right to the front door. Well, there are no eggs in here. They're storing honey down here. This is not what I need to be happening. I need a queen to be laying down in here. Honey down here turns this whole box into a giant super and I have no way of extracting honey out of these gigando frames. There is, there's a drone walking around. There are no eggs, there are no eggs here. No eggs there. That's what we got here. No queen. No eggs. Oh no, this is not good. Okay. I think what I'm going to be doing is shaking bees into this hive again. Okay. No eggs. So if I did not, I mean, okay, if this hive was queenless, these bees would not be this docile. Okay, there is, there is no, there's no brood in this bottom chamber at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is anger bees. Let me get my gloves on. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. We do have a queen excluder here. We do have a queen excluder. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, 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 okay. We separate these boxes. You're going to set this box that has a queen excluder on it on top of that. Now we're going to search in here for a queen. Okay, I've got a guard on me. I'm going to have to put my gloves on. So now we're going to be looking for the queen in this box. And hopefully I find brood in here. I don't know what I was thinking. 
I guess I was just so so wrapped up in trying to get it done. Okay, this is solid pollen. This is pollen and nectar. This is pollen and nectar. So far there's no brood in this box. Nothing. Pollen and nectar, no brood. Pollen and nectar, no brood. There is no queen in this box. Okay. Which tells me that if I have a queen, she is going to be in that other box. Now, if we don't see a queen in here, I'm gonna be taking the queen from the orange hive and putting her in here because I don't want that bottom box loaded with honey. Okay. All right, ladies, let's have a look. They're launching guards on me. Okay. We have no brood. No brood at all. Zero. I think this hive is queenless. I do not think we have a queen in here. Okay, they're drawing this out. Yet there is no... No brood. Okay. We have honey. And we have a queen cell with nothing in it, a teacup. Nothing there. Okay. Okay, no brood. No brood. No brood. No brood. This hive does not have a queen. I would have found it by now. I would have found I would have found something. Zilch. Okay. We're going to do some combining. All right, I will be right back. All right, so I have a plan. What I'm going to do is as follows. I need as many of these bees downstairs as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this. We are going to remove this. Now, this isn't going to be pretty. I mean, this is going to be downright ugly. But I've got to get this done. I've got to get a queen in this hive. I don't know if this is a solution that you would come up with, but... But I need to get a queen in this box. Right now, let's try to get some of these girls in there. Don't boil, don't boil. Let's just uh, let's go for the gusto. Let's get some of these in there. Get these girls in the middle. That's where we eventually want brood. Let's get these. 
in here. I know this doesn't look like much yet. I have a plan. Before they start boiling out, I have a plan. The plan is as follows. Everybody who needs to get in there, get in there. The rest of you cannot come out now. All right. There is a screen. The screen will keep these girls in that part of the hive. This is our queen from the other hive with her pheromone. I think that is a much better approach. Now, my queen, her brood, her, her nurse bees, they all live right there. Her, their pheromone's gonna go down there. Now, the only problem I have now is that workers that I have out in the field are going to fly back to the orange hive and I'll, I'll try to get them tomorrow morning when it's cold outside and put them in this, this top box here. That's the plan. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. And let me tell you, boy, was it ever an adventure. Holy moly, I thought for sure we were just gonna go through the hives, everything was gonna be okay. We were going to gently and easily move the queen into the purple bee barn. And nothing is gentle and easy. It was, uh, it was an adventure. It was, it was, it was, it was an adventure. Anyways, um, the move didn't go as gracefully as I, I wanted it to because I really didn't plan on doing it. I thought for sure I was gonna find a queen queen cell, evidence of, of, of laying going on in the purple hive, found nothing. The bees are storing nectar in the bee barn, the bees are storing nectar in the in the medium and in the deep that was on that hive. So it's just one giant, just giant honey factory over there, but they had no means to make a queen, not even an egg. So now that Juno is over there, we've, we've, we've put a screen down so that her pheromone can get down into the bottom box. I've, I've removed the other boxes on the top and everything should be right with the world. Fingers are crossed. Maybe next week we'll get through the white and the blue hive. I've still got to build a couple of bee barns for them. Um, so there you go. So do me a favor, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, the button's right down there. Just hit that red button, ring that bell to be notified of my new videos. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun and, and have adventures. And today we had an adventure all worked out so it's all good so with all that said be happy and i will see you next week take care thanks for stopping by